EarlyCataractCoach.com, Early Cataracts and Myopic Patients. So why do these axial myopic patients develop cataracts early in life? Now, starting off a basically routine case here, patients on the younger side, I found over the course of many years and many thousands of cases that patients who are highly myopic, let's say axial length of 26, 27 millimeters or longer, they tend to get cataracts earlier in life. I'd say about a decade earlier than their peers. And their cataracts are often like this, where there's some nucleosclerosis, but as you'll see, the cataract kind of has like a gummy feel to it. So what is it about the pathophysiology that these patients get cataracts a decade earlier? And I'm not 100% sure. Now, we've certainly seen this. I'm sure you've noticed as well. Do you have any thoughts? Please, someone teach me. This is all group learning. Remember, we're all learning together. Leave a comment below. I'm not sure, but these patients certainly do get earlier cataracts. Now, we can see there's the rexus. It looks a little on the small side, but I assure you it's going to be just about perfect. Remember, highly myopic patient also has a larger white-to-white, -white, and this is a big dilation. This may be a 9 millimeter or more dilation. So that rexus really is going to be about 5, 5.5 millimeters. So here's some hydro dissection. You can see it's not a very dense nucleus, a little delineation. There's that nucleus. No sense in operating in the bag when it's this soft, a little extra visco to protect the cornea. And now here comes a phaco probe, and this is going to be short work. As you know, a cataract like this doesn't have a whole lot of density, but it's certainly opaque enough. I mean, look at the color here. Now I can understand why the patient was bothered by this. Of course, doing surgery on a highly myopic patient means additional risks. Remember the risk of retina problems, retinal attachment. We're taking out a four, four and a half millimeter thick human lens, replacing it with a very thin one millimeter or less man-made lens, and that can cause vitreous to shift, and sometimes it can put traction on the peripheral retina there, which can lead to retinal break or detachment here. Nucleus is out. Hey, while we're switching over, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. Also remember, check out our Instagram. I got a lot of great material on that website. It's all easily searchable. Please, please, please check out the website prior to emailing me your questions because I assure you with more than 2,000 videos, your question's already been answered. At least a 95% chance. Anyway, cleaning up the cortex here. We're nice and easy. Now we'll polish up the caps or bag a little bit. Now the advantage, of course, in doing cataract surgery for a hyaluronic patient is, of course, the gift of pseudophakia. Now, this patient here was about a minus 10 diopters of myopia, along with about two diopters of astigmatism. And with the rule, you can see there's some marks there on the cornea, and those marks are the steep axis for our um, toric IOL that's going to be coming up. So we're putting in a monofocal toric lens here. Let's put some viscoelastic. Let's pulse that bag up a little bit more. I want it a little, little more sparkly than that. But yeah, these patients definitely get cataracts early. Now, this patient has opted to be about a minus two in both eyes. And why minus two? Well, of course, minus two is a focal point of about half a meter. And that's 50 centimeters. Or for our American friends, that's 19 inches. And this patient spends a tremendous amount of time on a computer doing some sort of uh, computer programming work. And so this patient liked to be able to do the computer work. And the patient has measured that the monitor is just about half a meter from his face. And so we're aiming for this minus two. Here comes the lens going in the capsule bag. Nice and easy. And we'll get that finished up. We'll see here the overall size of the rexus. Looks like it's going to overlap 360 pretty nicely. And this patient ends up being very happy. So please leave me a comment below. Again, I'm not sure why do these highly myopic patients get cataracts around a decade earlier. I think they do. I've seen it. I know you've seen it too. You've done thousands of these cases. But why? What is it about the pathophysiology? And so I'd love to learn from you. Please leave me a comment below, and we will all figure this out together. Thanks for watching. And remember, check out our cataracoach.com website and our amazing podcast. Got a new podcast coming up every weekend. I promise you'll learn a lot. Do you remember how back in the day you thought like, oh, I don't need to watch a five-minute cataract video every day? And now look, you watch a five-minute cataract video every day. It's the same way. You don't realize you need to listen to a one-hour podcast once a week, but you do. You'll learn so much. I promise you, it's that good. Anyway, check it out.